Hello, in this video I want to go about text prompt in mid journey. Just get a little bit more on the advanced level from what we have before. I know you guys have a time to play around, maybe adjust. And I want to share my um, knowledge from the programming side and from side of the user about text prompt. And you can see I have experimented <laughs> quite a bit on this level. So I've done a lot of tests and you can see we'll go from the styles, we'll going from um, how composition string, all the stuff. And we'll start with a very basic to understand, um, not too, too basic, but to the point of what does the weight mean? What is comma? What is a apostrophe? And so how they will work positioning and so on, how the styles will affect quite a bit. We'll look on the styles and we're also going to going how I can create something that precisely reflect what I wanted. Okay, and uh, my experiment was based on, you can see I passed 10,000 images um, just on a mid journey. Beside that, plus disk diffusion, um, dream stable diffusion, and many, many other sites where I tried DALI and everything. They all work different, but in some cases they have a similarity because they were using the clip model. And what I was meaning by clip, let me show you this very simplify things. And when I say it's really simplify, it is to the basic, but it's give it us necessary what we need to know. And what's happening right here, we have it our input text that we're going some sort of the text processing. So what is meaning it's actually need take a text and decode it and decode it, put it on a weight priority, for example, if you write a sense, it's neat says which word representing what it's need convert to mathematical. And in some case, it's called a clip model or different ones. After this, it's well going to the image processing where from um, parent noise or other noise start kind of denoising te techniques for the disco diffusion does this way. And it's going back and forward, can I recognize and so on. So think about this. This is kind of black box for those ones who are interested to understand how black box working. I'm right now in a process of creating free course. It will be on YouTube where we by using disco diffusion, not pads on a Google and um, by hand, we're going to code every step. So you all understand how the generators work, what library we're going to use, how the access to the image library and so on. So we'll go over step by step. It will be more geeky stuff for those who are interested to actually hands on and understand how it's working this. But technically what I want to say right here, it's based on different type of engines they're using. But technically think about this. It's a black boxes. OK, we have a text in somehow it's need to recognize and set priority what the one in the text after creating image, go back and says, hey, does it look like a text wanted and so on to have it several iterations. And in the end, we have it our image and hopefully that image representing what we want. In many cases, it's will as generic, but we can see with details how we can perfect this or make even better. And what I'm done, I actually went and I pre rendered a bunch of strings. You can see some of them. I know how it will happen. So I did render just one string, but I'll show you what does it mean. And after this, of course, I rendered a lot of different like right here. You can see this is majority for the styles and those styles and the artists and everything. So we'll look on that a little bit closer. Um, if you feel this video is a little bit longer, you can always skip, pause, come back, whatever. But I think um, I don't want it to make video short just for sake of make short. I want to be sure you guys have it enough information or the share my um, experience, my trials and all the stuff. And hopefully you'll have it a lot of fun. At least I do. OK, so let's go ahead first and we'll go look on the string. So simple string. What do we do with a mid journey? Again, this is based on mid journey. If you're using different render like Dali, uh, stable diffusion or other ones, the string combination probably works slightly different. OK, because they're kind of different. What kind of clip model is using and or a library. So this is again, mostly will be about mid journey, but it in many cases, it will apply to other ones as well with different syntax, maybe, but it will be similar. So what we want to do, it's a, as usual, we go to imagine. OK, 
and so on typing string but before we go even that far what i want to do i want to see reset our settings because many times when you do something it's maybe set in your settings you don't know what's there and it's will effect to, to do this we'll go our settings first okay and as we're going settings you can see right here we open and currently it is version 3 notice they did beta and now i think the soon enough will be version 4 that may change some effect because again they're updating models they're updating loops so it will be a little bit different but generic is still be same okay stylization medium we will control a little bit on this but again by default settings basic quality i'm running in a relaxed mode so it will take a little bit longer and a reason why i don't want you to suffer about this i pre-render most of them so we can preview uh, regular upscale i don't use any beta upscale or other ones for right now and it's public mode what does it mean public mode you can go directly to my profile and my profile you can go to just search geek at play and you can directly access to my preview keep in mind when you're going and it says hey i like this i want to copy not just going and don't copy just prompt because prompt is will be if you have a commas it does not copy it just copy first word you want copy command and i will show you in a second what does it will make it different okay so right here our settings again one thing what i would recommend you to do before we start this go forward slash let's go to prefer suffix kick this one i had a reason the problem some reason application not respond and it's okay you need reset something was sitting there i don't know what it was but prefer suffix and it will reset it so all suffixes if for some reason some there remove it so we know it's a clean right now you can see we have a similar environment and i always do this when i teach people with a photoshop or other ones going to basic uh, environment when we teach so it does not mess up with some customizations because you may get lost or other things okay right here so let's start now we can do imagine so and imagine it will have it now prompt and usually we can go ahead and type like um let's go blue doll on a red ball very simple what i recommend for you start with a simple understand how it's work and add complexity and you can see how we was adding complexity so this time i want to jump to my profile where i already did some of this and we're going over so right here you can see this is the blue doll on a red ball okay and it's kind of okay it's kind of understand um blue doll in one case and going and says oh and you want red ball okay i put red ball here in the hand not necessarily understand link between of them but it's still kind of okay working so next i want to separation what is meaning if you look right here we have it um quotes and quote that are very helpful if you have it long words and mostly will helpful when we want to put it weights and weight we'll look in a second but it is you can assign priority we'll look in a second what does weights mean but overall right here i put in comma and in this case it's not comma sorry um quotes in this case it will treat this as together okay so it's liberty assigned again um <laughs> effect is not what i wanted but same effect you can achieve just with a commas in some cases so right here you can see blue doll comma on the red ball and look on our first result is precisely what i wanted i want my blue doll on a red ball so syntax is it's important for me i am russian natively speaking um, I speak a few other languages, but general English is not my first language. And if you did not notice accent, um, it will be very surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised on that one, but my English is broken. Okay. So wherever I type it, I type with broken English, everything. But uh, most of those applications right now, they are English based. So it's meaning you need to follow English syntax and so on. Right here, you can see the blue doll comma on the red ball and this is give it very good result some results of course it's tried different because it's try figure out based on the weight but overall right here it is precisely what i was looking for so this is one thing next let's look on the weights what i say by the weight 
um, let's say I'm going and I'm going to just write ball comma cube comma fish. So I want to put them together and you can see right here it's try to figure out and it's give it about equal weight to everything what I was meaning weight it's try to fuse them together and right here actually this one number two image it is almost perfect example because we have a ball we have a kind of cube inside and fish so it is about equal putting together what I says by weight we can also assign specific weight to each item and says I want more priority on this example what if we says and assign weight sorry let me put this way for example I can do like this I can say cube comma ball comma fish yes so and it's how we type in the weight can be assigned by the like two vertical dots okay and after this you can set one is a default okay zero one it's a less you actually can assign even minus and of course two it's higher so you can assign numbers and says how important is one thing you may get error if for example you put comma directly after be sure you have it space after the number okay for the syntax so it's can recognize and after you can also add some other stuff but so right here it says hey you know what i want ball maybe put it uh, let's do for now 0 0.1 lower it's a below one okay cube we can put it one we don't need it but for sake so we can see what is going on we say cube just normal one i don't care about how we match embedded ball but i want a fish i want permanent fish there okay so let's go ahead and see what's happening when we do this right here and you can see notice this what i says it's separating ball cube fish okay if we're going this is what's happening if you take prompt you want copy command if you see other ones almost always you want to copy the command if you like some work you want to do and right here let's paste this command in and you can see right here we have a ball zero one cube and fish two so it passed the command let's see what's happening and you can see we definitely can see fish because priority is a fish is two weight of two and because cubes one and ball less like right here this one bottom perfect example it does not really care about ball ball maybe reflect like ice or some other stuff but it does add this cubism to our fish our third our fourth one you can see like cubes on the background cubes so it's kind of merging but fish is permanent it's a majority of this so whatever you do like for example if you want a string and you want to create something your main object for example mechanical spider in steampunk punk okay you can put it mechanical spider in the quartz put it value of the two weight with the <laughs> that the com com two put it that and it says hey I want this is as permanent as number two and after you can add additional what you can affect with one and other details that is not very significant but it's okay if they put there less weight less permanency like give it a zero one of course if you don't want something um, display at all for example I don't want to display this underwater so I can do no tag but we'll again we'll look on a no a little bit later okay right now what we're looking it is quotes commas and weight so this is how we can adjusting the next things is very important actually in mid journey it is what style you specify and why we speak about the style we have a lot of different type of style style can be artist style which is actually we'll look on this we have it the type of the media style we have a style how you're going to pa paint the like ink water oil normal oil and uh crayons pencil black and white color also media can represent how it's showing because it's not just a drawing 35 millimeters and another one's styles so let's go look on this um actually sorry before this let me show you on things it's with my mice and this is I think will be very good example when we start mix mixing so right here I have it furry mice very fat eating cheese very happy and again 
Um, it could be random because remember how it's generated. It's creating a purling noise, add additional noise on the top, and with a denoising, diffu uh, disco diffusions denoising, try to generate image and compare what with the result. And actually, it's not bad even on the beginning done this. We have the mice right here very happy. We don't have them eating cheese. Um, below, we have the mice look like a cheese. I don't know if you want to eat that. Um, and the top one kind of looking, but it's a mutants. I see more legs than actually exist. So right here is another one where we kind of command separations. You can see the difference between the other ones. And uh, this is more like from Chernobyl mutants. So let's skip that one. But at least we start having fur. So right here we have a common and commas will add fur. Like on this one, you can see it's add fur. So before it separate them as two different weights, uh, two different parameters. Right now it's fur mouse, it's one parameter. So we, we want to spe specify. And remember, if it does not help at the first time, you can really render because it's all randomly. And what's happening with this? Let me show you example. Like right here, you can see the furry mouse, fat furry mouse. It's definitely add fur to this. Okay, and when you do this, it does definitely look like it's add some fur to that. Okay, so next, what we did with this, we uh, beside add all these commands. Of course, we have a problem with the fat. It's pick up very well, but eating cheese and a happy kind of happy, but eating cheese is not there except it's make mouse eating out of cheese. So it's try it itself. It will be mouse cannibalism. I don't know what it's called, manibalism. Um, and we can play a little bit more with uh, res, but again, with weights, we can adjust as general. What I want to show it is um, how the quotes will assign. And of course, beside that, we have it, we add a little bit like cartoon style here. You can see it's instantly changing, become cartoon as well. But not, mostly it's what I was pointing in this one. It is use of the commas. Okay, so let's go ahead and look on different styles where we have it. a little bit more fun. Right here, you can see I created um, portraits and this is very simple. It is says a beautiful female in a space suit. Notice I use it commons because I notice on a space suit sometimes it is take just a space and a suit as two different and you end up with a formal outfit floating inside the space so I don't know on the alien planet this is fine with comma background retro spaceship on a background so it's a very basic assignment and you can see it's a generator okay so we have it like this um, in some cases, retro spaceship, I don't think it's properly pick up. It's okay. We'll just leave it something on the background hanging around there. And this is render. So if we're going to next, what we try to do now, you can notice right here, I add styles of the different artists. And this is actually very interesting because if we're going can look, what you can do, I'll post it for you links for all of these artists. I went and I says, okay, let's find the best sci-fi artists who paint and we can go with this style and you can see right here the ginger right here we have it wins they've hated so it's his styles and you can search i say i will provide this list of the authors in the comments below in the descriptions you can just copy paste them or take separate and the styles it's help you kind of going in the same direction and the reason is how styles work it is when um it's going through that you remember when going through this cycle right here when it's go it's actually i should add one more cloud on the top because it's going and compare does it look like this you know um i compare many times one thing you need to understand that's on the front ai does it is a tool okay and many people say oh it's a create its own no it is a just a tool and it was created by human programmers in some case look on this it's collaboration collaboration work between you who put a text prompt and all the stuff and the programmers who actually wrote the code created this application how it's look everything and it's also have a third element to this third is a reference it's what library of reference it's using for example if i go to you and i says can you draw a camel for me and you never in your life see the camel before you will never draw camel you maybe come up with some weird stuff but as technically you don't know how camel looks so you cannot draw or ocean 
What do you do if I show you a few pictures, three pictures of the camel, and I ask you to draw this? You will draw based on the reference you saw before of those camels. So that is will be your references. Same with AI. Think about this. Let's have a reference to the libraries. And when you do something, AI never know how it's look till it's going and look by the words, pull out images that is have a description matching, and by the reference try to do this. So it's very important right here what is happening between text and image and it's going this loop. It's also in compare to some library, comparing to specific things to be sure it's look in specific way. And by creating, by adding um, and specifying spe the styles, it actually says, does it look somewhat in this style? It's one copy. It's not blending image. It just look on somewhat similarity in the styles, in the shading, in a coloring and so on. Right, right here, you can see the many different frame gems. Uh, I mean, a lot of bores, all these different. So I took it, many of them and just render same text only will add some of the string and let's see what's come up with this okay so we'll go over right here you can see it's frank fries look and i also render um individual because this is like about what is it 50 percent render so it's not details nothing there you want upscale image you want it because upscale image will look different and uh, small thumbnail not always look as pleasant and nice as the full upscale and i'll show you as example later so Frank, okay, let's go next. This one, we have it our Jim Burns. And you can see how style already changed, even same things. Something similar, all white suits for some reason, space, female, all that stuff, but the different Jim Burns look on the coloring, the different style media coloring. So it's very nice. Right here, Paul Hearn, he done, and uh, <laughs> I mean, it's total different style almost going, you know? And this is important right here, Divian's the fade, kind of very interesting. and because each all of this render with a random seed if i re-render there will be different so if you come up with something you don't like it or this is not specifically match re-render make different variation if you like some specific you can make variation from that single image okay so right here look on this rafael abolinsky total different this is space suit that's look like rocket ship and we'll actually render bigger ones there's different Wayne blower total different purple different styles it's a perfect look this one guess who is this ginger it's look like aliens look on this tentacles it's awesome okay we have it also the patrick and all of this you can access through how again if you're going to my um channel you search for geek at play you can pull up this and just look on all of these channels all of this Bollywood. Okay, let's go ahead next. This one, oh, look how beautiful it's come up. And it's a gene grain. So in this style with outline and other things. So right here we have Frank Frenzy. Okay, let's go to the next. Okay, Powers. Okay, beautiful, different styles, very beautiful. And a matching styles, Paris Valjeur. Okay, we have the Julia Bell. And you don't necessarily just need to copy those styles. Okay, let's look closer to what I was saying um, before we jump to next thing. So right here, retro third. So I'm selecting single image and you can see how it's a big different when you upscale. So it's way more details, way nicer look. Like right here, Frank Kelly, you can see more interesting. Of course, uh, some problem with figures and everything. I did not try to re-render different, different permutations. I just very simple and fast select this. Let's render it. Let's look what's going on. So Jim Burns again single okay let's go right here we have it our hands book okay look how the total different background and if you look on the styles it's matching very very good okay so we have it our wins the fate there's a house that's look rocket but it's kind of cool i like how it's look rafael blinsky there's our hanger and look at this look like almost tentacles. I mean, it's totally different styles. This is a Patrick. Okay, let's go next. This is Bob Pepper. That is nice, almost Hollywood. Okay, there is a, you remember one before smaller. Now look how many details, pause and everything with Jean Guard. It's very nice. You can also not just address specific um, style of the people. You can address also studios. You can access like Rembrandt. So you're going with Rembrandt stuff. Okay. 
classic painters. You can go with Picasso and <laughs> look on this Picasso style. So you can do all of these different Jolibel. Okay, let me see which one. It's Boris one and this one also just the ink. So instead, like a directly um, Rembrandt example or other artists, you can say style of the media. So right here is our ink. This one is, <laughs> I just had fun, it says with a Valdo. So let's see. And you can see it's kind of in Valdo colors. You can have it a little bit more fun with this. Okay, right here we have our Rembrandt lighting a little bit closer. Beautiful coloring. And I did it even more with Rembrandt, I'll show you a little bit later. And right here you can see we have our Picasso style. Okay, um, this is more media different. It's just, I says black and white pencil. And it's actually come up very good and it's recognized very nicely. It's mostly what I do. Have it, my main character right here, beautiful woman in the space suit common. After surrounding what I want to do, planet, red or shape, I could, I did not put it any weight because actual positioning for me was weight, but if I need, I can put on spaceship, uh, probably weight too, and that spaceship will be more permanent inside the image. In this case, I just want something on the background, but my, the model in spaceship, uh, spacesuit, it was very uh, permanent, that's what I want to show. Okay, so right here we have a cinematic, sharp film, and you can see it's have a depth of field added. And mostly it's happened when you have a photorealistic film. It's what we'll create in this case. Okay, next we have a retro look. And retro, uh, sometimes we'll add a little bit more grainy stuff. Try to figure out, but you can look on the background. It's have this retro gradients and other stuff. Okay, we have our ink upscale. And this one was our abstract. So it's tried to create kind of look on our abstract. This one, um, the one thing I need to show you and I keep in mind, I forgot to mention this, but I think it's good time. Let's go copy command and put it right here, my command. And you can see my stylization style 700. So if you're not familiar, your high style, very high style, it's about 20,000 and then uh, it will go berserk. Okay, it's so gonna try this. The total different grow from one end to another. Try exploring. AI will try flexibility and creation more. When lowest, I think it's a 625 or 670, 675. I think it's lowest. When it says, do what I ask you precisely. So, and it's what happening. So, right here, you can see I said my spacesuit weight one on all of them. So, by the way, this is all the same everywhere. Well, what I was changing in this inside abstract or artist or where I rest, this was exactly the same on everything. So it does not change anything. But I says keep sterilization close to my words as possible. Quality two, we have this aspect ratio. And this is what I was changing only at that time. So uh, right here, like abstract, that's what will happen. Okay, let's go back, jump with my abstract right here. This is, okay right there so this is was our was valdo single um they're very nice when you start mixing different styles i think this is the be best benefit because what if i take space suit and all the stuff and just add a steampunk so right here example i add a steampunk type and red or suit and it's come up very nice look look on this even the colors was this way in every so it's kind of very nice to upgrade uh, zombies. I saw that people have fun zombies. I have had fun with zombies. Do selfie with the zombies. Somebody did Olympic Games. There's zombies in the space. And you can see it actually does a very good job. And it's also said special color palette if you notice based on the theme. For example, if we're going back to steampunk, it's kind of uh, brass, leathery, kind of woody feeling, the coloring. Look on the zombie. It's a colder greenish. So it does a very, very good job on the so actually upkeeping coloring as well. This one, I think it's a pastel. So we can use it just also type of media we're using. Okay. And right here, this is, if you cannot guess, look how old the retro it is, what it says, old photo Polaroid Kodak. So it's try simulate this style. And in some cases you can have fun. I have it like old, Area 51 photos with aliens. <laughs> you can create amazing stuff with this. Okay, so right here, a little bit upscale. Look on this nice, beautiful upscale on a pencil drying, black and white. 
This is our upscale with cinematic film. Look very nice, nice depth of field applied to this. And usually it's what you do with 35 millimeter cinematic. It will add good depth of field to this. This is our retro look. Usually it's use the color and somewhat posterized look. Um, abstract, some details last and get abstract. Probably won't specify after what type of abstract art you wanted in this case. Um, illustrations, again, just try to put it. This is close up on a steampunk type. That is our zombie. You can see it's add something to the end. This one is our pastel upscale. Again, illustrations upscale. This one is, if I'm right, was a bunch of them. Yeah, so what I took it and I just says, hey, how about this? I'll just mix everything together, throw Rembrandt lighting, oil paint, Rena, steampunk, so all different styles, Victorian, and now all of these different artists who can create. And this is, I think, the most, one of the strongest parts of the mid journey and AI. It is can take these different styles and merge together and compare as it's creating and rendering between all of the styles so it will be fine some properly weight so this is the strongest part which is hardest to do for any other artist um, as you're developing so example right here this one it was i just says a cyberpunk so we add a little bit more you can see rembrandt all the, but i add steampunk cyberpunk kind of and you can see how it's come up it's a beautiful okay so this is one before with oil and this is look on this is a beautiful renders come up with a even mix style and i think this is again it's what string of this it's creating all this mixed gender mixed styles and you can again by using those weights using commas and specify you can create um different strings Okay, so let me show a couple things because we already have plenty of stuff I think for you to do. We did not even gone to more advanced preference settings and other stuff for automations. I think those is way higher. But what I want to show you, it is even how much fun you can have it. Look on this. So this is just a super smart zombie steampunk pastel. You can put it pastel colors then less but in this case we have a beautiful funny pastel colors we have our steampunk zombie again this is that mish Ma max kind of things what creating a very cool looking i mean uh, this is uh, i don't know if my imaginations can come up to create this okay so we have it all is beautiful same like with this fat mouse when it was creating but mouse, remember this with the weights and commas. So, but there you go. That is a created actually directly what I was asking and by using all this experiment. So you're more than welcome. Go to my channel. Look what I have it right here. I have it alien birthdays. I have it some space cities, just playing around, try to figure out how it's different um, weights, how's all of this working, you know, what is creating okay there's a, my super smart zombies i think it was zombies geniuses i tried to create right here okay zombies versus humans zombies ice cream um it was fun this is ballrooms you can see with playing different coloring and other stuff as well a little bit with the weight uh this is a separate project coming up i'll show you how i'm going to do uh, what i find out sometimes it's very hard to get in one picture everything what i wanted okay because it's need complex scenery you need set weights and it's still be it's a random okay because it's a generic random so what i'm going to do i render all these elements that i wanted and i'm going to compose them in a scenery so i'm going to create all of these elements i will select them and i'm going to create a compose image with all this ai generated not all but one pre-selected AI generated images. So you more than welcome, um, stick around on the channel. I would recommend for this, go ahead, um, subscribe to my channel. Okay, give us thumbs up, give it two thumbs up. Uh, be sure you click on the bell notification. So when this video come up, you'll know the video is out. So you can go and check about um, all of this, how creation, how compositing. Generally it is, 
what I'm looking on the AI generate art, it is a tool. It's giving me those elements, components. And what I'm doing as an artist with this, it's my choice. So, and for example, I want to create these elements and after I want to compose them together to create one uh, even better image. Image that it's my head, but currently, even with all this AI technology, even I put descriptions, it still cannot deliver because it's have its limitation. I'll give it another maybe half year, year. Probably it will do much better. But for now, that is what we're going to do. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you find some information for you very useful. If you like it, please share this video. Tell other people. I appreciate if the, uh, my video get a little bit more <laughs> popular. will be nice. But your support is greatly appreciated. Again, thank you very much. And by the way, just in the end, if you uh, want to upscale, is what I'm going to do also upscale. I'll have a link below to get a gigapixel um, from Topaz. Excellent tools. I love it. Um, it's what I'm going to do also upscale images before I edit them. But general, if you need a link right there, if you look for the something upscale, just click on this and get it. Thank you and have fun time creating.